by using suitable substitution, solve the following quadratic equation. So it's quadratic because it has a power of two. Uh, that's the giveaway here. And then it goes down to degree of one and then a constant. So that's telling me that it's a quadratic. Now we don't solve quadratics when it's looking complicated like t minus six t or six over t. So what I'm going to do here, there is, I'm going to substitute u in for t minus six over t. So I'm taking my t minus six over t and I'm going to change that or substitute that in with a letter and I'm going to call it u. Now you can call it any type of sub substitution. You can use any letter to represent it. I'm just calling it u. And then when I sub that into my quadratic, I'm now changing what's inside the brackets and I'm changing it for the letter u. So I'm just substituting in u instead of t minus six over t. And you can see here now that this is basically a quadratic equation. We're used to looking at it with x's, I just have it with a u. And all I have to do now is solve that. So I can take out the brackets there. So that's u squared minus six u plus five is equal to zero. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna solve it. I don't need to use my minus b for this one. This is quite straightforward to do. So what are the numbers that multiply to positive five and add to negative six? Uh, that's giving me a uh, u multiplied by u, and that's giving me a minus five multiplied by a minus one, because minus five by minus one is positive five, and minus five take away one is minus six. So therefore, u minus five is equal to zero, u minus one is equal to zero, if I add five to both sides or move to five over, I get u is equal to five and u is equal to positive one. Now, unfortunately, we're not finished because we now have to come up and solve for t. The question wants us to solve for t in this particular question. And I need to do it out twice for both answers that we achieved for u. So therefore, I'm now going to have, I'm bringing back up my uh, t minus six over t is equal to u. And I'm now going to change that to t minus six over t is equal to five, because that's the answer I got for u. And I'm going to do it out again. And I'm going to go t minus six over t is equal to u. This time I'm subbing in my positive one for u. And I'm solving this. Now I have one on the bottom, or sorry, t on the bottom of my fractions now. So that's the same as me putting these over 1, t over 1, 5 over 1, and I'm going to multiply across by t because my common denominator here is t. So I'm going to multiply across by t, so that's giving me uh, t squared. So I'm multiplying by t, multiplying by t, and multiplying by t. So that's getting me t by t is t squared, t by 6 is 6t, but I divide that by the bottom the denominator of t, which is just giving me minus six, is equal to five by t, which is five t. And I come over and I do the exact same thing for the other side. I put them over one. Common denominator, once again, is going to be t. So I'm multiplying across by positive t. And t by t is giving me t squared. t by minus six is minus six t divided by t, which is minus six equals to one t. I'm going to move everything to the left hand side of the equal sign because I want my quadratic equations to equal to zero. So this is giving me t squared minus five t minus six is equal to zero. And same with my other quadratic. If I move over the minus or the positive one t, it's t squared minus one t minus six is equal to zero. And I now have to go off and solve those two quadratics once again. Again, they look straightforward. I don't think I need my minus b formula. So I'm going two brackets equal to zero, two brackets is equal to zero. And I have t multiplied by t is t squared. And once again, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to minus six, add to minus five. That is getting me minus six by positive one minus six by positive one, does that work? Minus six by one is minus six, minus six plus one is minus five. So that does work. So what are my two solutions for t? t minus six is equal to zero, so therefore t is equal to six. 
t plus 1 is equal to 0, t is equal to negative 1. And don't forget I have my second quadratic over here on the right hand side. So two numbers that multiply to positive, or sorry, multiply to negative 6 adds to negative 1. And that is minus 3 and a plus 2. Minus 3 multiplied by 2 is minus 6. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. So therefore, I have t minus 3 is equal to 0. t is equal to positive 3. And t plus 2 is equal to 0. And t is equal to negative 2. So therefore, my four solutions for possibilities of t are uh, minus 2 minus 1, 3, and 6. And they are my final solutions for t. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.